excited to be part of this Easter Spin Mystery Box Challenge. And thank you so much for Tammy from Happiness Created to host this challenge. My mystery box I sent it to Christine from Christine Dayo Aikraft Thaolik. And my box I received it from Teresa from Teresa B. DIY. So don't forget to check out these ladies' channels and other crafters. You're gonna find their links in the description box below my video. Check out all their clever creation. I'm very curious to see what they made with their surprise items. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe and comment. In today's video, I unbox a mystery box. We are both going to see what is inside. So the rules for this challenge is each one has to send from 8 to 10 items for crafting to one crafter that is in the list. So don't forget to check out their channel's link in the description box below because they are making beautiful DIYs and each one has its own style so it's best place where you get a lot of inspiration. I just wonder what is inside. So this is a, a letter, cards, a birdhouse, a pack, paper pack with different colors and texture. I saw it in Dollar Tree last time. I didn't get it. So this time I'm gonna think. And this chalkboard uh, frame and this wood black and this metal house mm -hmm. calendar oh it's frame calendar oh and this okay transfers i love this one has beautiful sayings je t'aime that mean i love you Another one, vivre sans aimer n'est pas proprement vivre. That means to live without loving is not really live. So this one is very, uh, is beautiful. I'm going to make something for my little son, my youngest son, okay? So, and this cutting board, okay, let me see if we're going to do something. Uh oh, something is covered. Let's see what is inside. Oh, cute, very, oh, nice. I'm gonna make something with that. Let's see what she said. Who is that? Miriam, hope you have fun with these goodies. Happy crafting, Teresa B. Thank you so much, Teresa, for these goodies. I'm gonna take time and think out of the box to use all these items and make some DIYs. No clue now. I only have to think about spring or Easter project. My first project, I choose this paper pack, the wood pack, and the uh, bird house. So this paper pack has assorted paper in various sizes and colors. I am thinking to make some flowers using my Cricut. I want to cover the, uh, the roof of the bird house with this craft paper. And I have this leg from my old shelf. I'm using it as a stander for this birdhouse and the wood plaque. So I'm using these designs or this flower from my Cricut design. I draw my first DIY so I will not forget uh, the idea. So I'm painting first my birdhouse with white chalk paint and the leg which is the stander also I'm painting the wood plaque to make it as the bottom of this design I'm gluing all together with my hot glue then I'm covering this roof with this beautiful paper these colors match my flowers that I'm gonna make now so I show this one to cut it with my Cricut 
Okay, I made all these flowers. So first, I'm cutting the stripes with green paper. Glue the end of the stripes and roll in the top of this stripes with cooling needle or with this paintbrush. Roll it, roll it. It's cute. Now I'm rolling these flowers and glue it with my hot glue. Another flower. I'm making a lot. A lot of them. I'm gonna use them for all my projects. Oh, this, this cute and beautiful colors. So in the bottom, I'm adding some greenery and uh, I may have this this fairy garden I have the lantern and welcome sign and I put them there sorry you cannot see it right now I'm adding these swirl shapes that I made with the green stripes add them in the design and the small bird in the front of the bird house. Et voila, it's so beautiful. I love it, I like it. It looks like fairy bird house. So now, in your comment below, please tell me if it was you, what can you make with these papers? And tell me what do you think about this project? So now let's jump into my second one. For my third one, I have this calendar. I'm gonna add some of my items, like this ribbon that I got from Michaels. I'm gonna make it very simple. I'm adding from my stash like this beautiful base design 3D sticker that I got from Dollar Tree. Some of my paper flowers that I made. I did some small pieces of fern to decorate this vase. Et voilà, c'est simple. What do you think? Let's go ahead to the last DIY. make something very cute for my son using this transfers has beautiful sayings and this cutting board so I'm gonna make this one for my son my lovely son so Elias Elias go say hi to them hi everyone hope you enjoy crafting with Miriam after printing the board with white chalk paint, sending out all around to make it neat, and just peel the first layer of these transfers and put it on the top of the board. Just rubbing, rubbing. The most important is when you put it in the sink, you don't, you don't move it, so you you decide very well where are you going to apply these transfers. I am centering the picture. Uh, once uh, I put it, just rub, rub everything very well with a little bit of pressure. And I'm using this Cricut scrubber. You can use popsicle stick. Anything helps you to put pressure on top. And then I peel the first layer on the top. So cute. It's it's like magical you will see the same picture transferred to the this piece of wood and then now i'm using this wax clear clear wax to make it a little bit shiny and protect the surface of this wood i'm adding some blacks from some jenga blacks to make the base of this sign and the top and the top I'm using six blocks to make the base and paint them uh, with white chalk paint. And uh, 
to add another six blacks to make the the top of this sign painting and drying and now gluing uh, all together adding some adding some greenery on the top with some paper flower that I made from this uh, from beginning of this video and the bird and make it beautiful now And voila, I'm done making all this project now. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for watching and for your, your likes and your comments. So take care and see you soon.